We are live at 11.05, minus one, I think. This may be 11.04, but we are live, 11.05, on BC, Spirit Cars here. Josh, the voice of Spirit Cars, behind the camera. You haven't waited for a couple You times. know what it says today? What's it say? It says, congratulations, this is your 100th broadcast. A hundred, a seriously? That's what it says. A 100th Facebook? Oh, this is serious. <laughs> so I got a couple, a couple birthdays going on. So... We're cutting whack and doing. I talked a lot about doing it uh, last, I think we got interrupted last week once, but we talked about it on Friday, I believe, so. Um, putting the pre-thought in. It, it reminded me today when I was cutting it, um, I never give my kids a car. They had to earn their own, but they all had late model cars, and uh, the way I did that, I, I just got them wrecked cars. So it'd be a nice new car, except the back would be gone, and so I'd find another one that was either the same. Yeah, I know my daughter, Josh's wife, Janelle, we had, uh, I forget what was her first car was. What was that? Illumina? Something. It was It was something, but it's a little different model back, <laughs> a year different. We cut the car in the middle. We put them both together, and you just really got to think about it. You got to overlap. You got to do. You got to um, careful your welding, but... Uh, that's kind of what we did here. Contour. A contour. It was a con. That's right. It was a four. Yeah. So we took, uh, and then my son, all my all my kids, and I made them help me do it too. It wasn't just a here's a freebie. You're gonna have to pay for it. You had to help me do it, and they got a really nice car um, when they were done. So when I was cutting this, I was thinking about that. Why don't you get in here and kind of look at it? We spent a lot of time thinking. I'm not going to say as much time thinking as I did cutting, but I wanted to cut once and not have too much cut off. So what I did, and it, it really helps to know the inner structure of what you're dealing with. Um, and since we build this car, it's a spirit car, I happen to know what the inner structure was. On the, if you've seen the wiring, once we screw these on, the wiring block just snaps into that, so I was able to undo that, and we'll show that here in just a second. The steering or the uh, steering wheel we talked about last week. I'm just going to have to change this at a little bit different angle to match the box. You can see our floor it comes around. So this would have been under the car. This is where the steering box is. The floor comes around. This is where the transmission goes. So I cut the entire transmission hump out, so all this has been raised, if you look in the floor it's flat, and then this is going to angle back on the inside, I'm going to have to trim a little bit more out, I left that in there so I could show you. And what I did on the hood lip area, I left half of the hood lip here, and I left half of the hood lip on here, so I can wrap my glass on top of this. So I've got to cut, and what I cut, if you look in here, I can, I'm in my body mount holes right here, if I line it up a little better. So right here is my body mount hole, I've got my body mount hole here. I can bolt the body right back down where it was. So in the back, I'm going to be good with my back wheels. Everything's the same. Let me set this back up in here, you can look from the inside. Now, as I move this forward, I tried to describe it Friday. I had a tape mark here. You can still see one of the tape marks. But what I can do now, you can see the steering or the um, the fuse block. I just unplugged it. It's going to push back, go to the same place. When I move this forward, I'm going to cut between the front body mount here and the brake pedal. So what's going to happen, I can bolt my body down, move my frame forward, use the same brake mount, and the brake will come up through the floor here. What I'm going to do is have to fill here this little gap, whatever it's going to be, uh, four inches I think is what we've determined. But what I like to do is, uh, Rodney had talked about coming down, so Rodney, if uh, if you like, we I've got plenty of other projects, I can kind of leave this one where it is, and if you want to come down, we could actually fit you in the car, put the seat back in and fit it to exactly what makes it feels most comfortable.
comfortable to you. And uh, at that point, once we know how far out we want to go, then we can cut the frame. Someone made a good point, a valid point last week about are we going to are we going to notch the frame or are we going to butt weld it or or how are we going to do that for strength? Our frame is three sixteenths, so if we bevel the edges and just weld it, it should be good. But that's probably not what we're going to do. Um, if you have I got dust enough on something to show you? It doesn't look like. It. Here, here, right here. So if I got both frame rails coming, if I notch it down and come through like that and weld here, that's going to be a little stronger than if I just cut the frame and weld it solid. Can you even see that in the picture yes. there? But what we're probably going to do, I'm going to cut it like this and I will sleeve it. I'll take a piece of steel and sl slide it up into the frame rails and I'll cut a hole. I'll cut a hole. So what I'll do is I'll plug weld that piece of steel in there. I can grind this back and that'll let me get real good penetration uh, through the, the two sides. Even though that, that inner steel is not going to be, it will actually be welded to it, but it'll let you, let you get real good penetration in the weld going through. So um, be aware of the structural integrity of if you cut something in half and, and put it together, where it be a, any car, it doesn't matter. Um, whether you're subframing a, a truck with, you know, with an old Velari front end, that we did a lot of those or things like that. Um, just be aware of your structure. So, when you talk to Rodney, mention to him if he wants to come and have this custom fit to his size. Uh, this is our spirits, uh, we call it XLT. It's our extended version. You can see it's been extended a little bit here and a little bit here, and just a touch here to give it a what is it, an extra four inches, I think? Yeah, four or five. Four or five. So, over our regular, it's about four or five already and we're going to add another three. Uh, I was concerned up front that uh, <clears throat> I, I like it to stay in proportion. I don't want to look like a one-off custom that you're wondering what it is. We want it to look like a tea bucket. So before I did any of this, uh, if you happen to see it Friday, I, I mocked it up. I went ahead and taped this on here. This was off the, off the frame and I had it out so I could stand back and I could look at it and you can kind of tell now it's it's going to come straight out here, and I think it's going to look it's going to look good. It'll look look like it all belongs, and it's not going to stick out. So put it back together. I'll grind. I'll grind. I can take this insert piece out. It's just kind of together through now. So I'll pull this insert out. I'll get this glass from the inside first. Then I'll V this down and I'll lay a glass inside of this before I even put the outside piece on probably. And I'm, I'm just thinking out loud, so as, as I'm doing it, we'll figure it out better. But then I'll just glass, what I'll probably do is make a, um, a thin piece here, you know, as I, I put it together, and uh, so I can wrap it around, so. As we're doing that, I think we'll definitely show this part of the project. If Rodney comes in, we'll probably, if you're seeing this Rodney, let us know what you think. Uh, we'll talk, I believe we said we were going to talk today anyway, so we'll talk today and if it's good, we can do it this way or if you want to come down, we can hold off. So this is this project. It's not been that big of a project. I mean, when you stand back, think about it. That's, that's my main advice on this. Think about it, think about it, think about it. And uh, Again, we'll trim these edges off over here so that it comes down flat, fits into that, and the, and the floor, you won't even be able to tell that we, we cut it apart. Larry A. Awesome looking silver. I mean, this is just a preview. Larry's car is coming together. We got the fenders painted and the running with the splash pans and the rear fenders and the rear panels all painted. Uh, it needs to be buffed. Uh, it, I mean, it's not bad now. It's got very minimal orange peeling really doesn't have any trash. It's a really cool, real rich looking silver. Uh, it, the body's going to be blue. Uh, I think the car is going to be named Blue Moon. Blue Moon, yes. With uh, some True Fire, or what do we call them? We call them Aqua Fire. He calls them, yeah. Well, did he name that? Okay. Somebody did. We, we 
have done so many of these. They're like blue flames, and it's like, so they're aqua flames. And uh, they're really neat. So uh, we're going to be doing that on the body, and that'll be happening pretty quickly. It, it, probably in the next week or two, we, we'll have, uh, we have Michelangelo come paint them. Yeah. If we can get Michelangelo to come out, we may do a live, live program while he's doing that. So this one's coming together. At this point, um, we really went over the, the fenders, and they, they were modified a little bit to fit the body, and there was some glass added in, in the areas around here. Um, we needed to kind of grind out the top side. What they did, they glassed it from the back side and didn't glass from the top side. So we really needed to grind out a couple areas to put some glass on top. You don't want stress cracks to be coming back, uh, and they will. If you, if you can see a, a stress crack in the, in the part itself, even though it looks like it sands out, it, it will come back in the paint. So you really have to grind that out. You have to glass on top of it and sand it out. So these have been painted. We got a lot of clear on it. We can wet sand it. We can buff it. They just got painted, so we'll probably buff them tonight or tomorrow. At this point on a car like this, it's already been fitted together. We know the brake pedal goes where it goes. We've had the steering column in it. Uh, the body is bolted down. We've had all the fenders on it and fitting up where it goes. So we know it's going to fit together when we put it back together. At this point, once we get these fenders buffed, uh, I'll turn them over and I'll put some rubberized undercoating underneath of them, uh, especially on a fiberglass fender. If you get rocks that come up and hit the backside, you, you might get a little uh, spider. You know, it'll hit that rock chip, it'll look, you'll just poke it out and you'll be little spiders back in here. So if you put that rubberized undercoating, that really helps for that. So we'll do that on this. I've seen the bottom of the, the metal running boards here is, they got, uh, not rust, but they, you know how it would get, it's, it's not been, primer, it's not been anything, so we'll undercoat the bottom of all that, start assembling this thing, and keep it clean. As soon as we start putting it together, we'll put it under a tarp, no sense, I mean, when you've got a nice car, no sense getting it all trashed out, so I think that's it for today. We'll see that coming together, I'm, this is coming together, and Larry, Larry T, I'm sure is getting anxious. We got a lot of cool parts here, and it's about time that I get focused on that one again. We've got a little bit more to do. We're going to fill some on the firewall, so you'll see some of that this week. And uh, hopefully you'll see this thing coming to paint and the body on here blue pretty soon. Uh, maybe this week. We're not going to rush it. we got to, uh, at this point, you want to make sure it's straight. Um, you just can't block one enough. You can't sand it enough. Um, Again, when we did this, we got the, the primer to 600. So we primed it with 600, um, and we didn't just prime it and, and sand it that day and paint it. We sanded it um, the day after it was primed. So we gave it enough time to cure so that we won't have any shrinking. So that's kind of where we're at on this one, and I need my little books, my yellow books. There we go. You got a preference? No. Nope. Any meaning? I don't know. I'd, I'd check on Trump, but he's uh, <laughs> he's pushing ahead. Protests ahead. Protests ahoy. Okay. Uh, we're just going to go coffee break contemplations. All right. This is a good one for, for what we got going on. Until we can love and value others, our understanding of ourselves will be limited. So that's, that's a good one. Here's, here's, I'm just going to read two. This, this next one's pretty good, too. Pain is a learning tool, but not a good teaching tool. So a friend of mine, Ernie Gilcrease, these are actually available on Amazon. Ernie Gilcrease, and it's got a little, you could scan this. Our phone's got a little scan. Most phones have a scanner. I bet, can I do that? Can you scan it off your computer? Well, that, not now with this live program. No, but I mean, if somebody yeah. looked at that, yeah. is that possible? Yeah. Okay, so all us old guys that don't know how computer technology works, I bet if you took that, stopped it, and took a picture of it and scanned it, that would take you right to Amazon, and we're, we're in an amazing world. Can't believe we've already done a hundred of these things. Um, 
we've been talking about doing the YouTube ones for about 99 of those hundred. Yeah. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll work on that. If you want to get this uh, feed live, um, there's a button here while I'm still live. If you've made it this far into the show, then I guess it's a show. Uh, just push that button and it'll notify you every time we go live. We do try to do it about 11.05 every day. I uh, don't make every day. And um, sometimes we go at a different time, but not too often. So we are sure glad you're with us. I know our audience is growing a little bit every week. We appreciate that, and um, hopefully we bring you value. Uh, we, we appreciate your time, so hopefully you appreciate what we do. Thanks.